Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. Tonight I am bringing you a long-awaited tarantula breeding update video. So I have about, I don't know, eight to ten animals to show you. Um, some of it good news, some of it bad, but uh, I'm just gonna give it to you all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So, first order of business is this is my mature female pumpkin patch. So that would be a Cyclosternum fasciata or Davis fasciatus now, I believe. And this female was bred with a male that was sent to me on loan from Nevada Rice. And she actually ate him, which doesn't happen um, in my breeding projects a whole lot. But she did, and in my experience, that often indicates actually a successful copulation. And you can see that she's getting pretty nice and fat. And so I'm hoping that she will reproduce from Nevada's male. And that little male was absolutely at the end of his lifespan. Mm, he was going to pass on and cross the Rainbow Bridge which he did do so, but hopefully his legacy will live on. So that was my pumpkin patch update with my mail from Nevada Rice. The next update is my mature female Haplopel molybdenum, cobalt blue. She, I'm trying to remember, this male was one of mine, but he's either passed, died of old age since they bred, or um, she ate him. I, I think he just died. Once they reach their ultimate molt, they, they don't live very long. And so that was a real bummer because I don't have a male anymore. But um, hopefully better luck next time. So a uh, sad case on the lividum, but neither of my females reproduced. Like I said, late egg sex, but they were, they were infertile. They, they turned hard and, and started to spoil right away. So that was no good. Next order of business is this pair of Brachypelma albopelosum. They were bred. The uh, female here is mine. And uh, she doesn't look huge, but she looks good. So I'm hoping that she's getting ready to lay an egg sac. And the male was sent to me by Jacob Throneberry, who has partnered with me on several breeding loans. And his male looks fantastic. I mean, he's absolutely beautiful. If she doesn't reproduce uh we can always try to pair them again because if she molts then you know for sure that there's no way that she will reproduce from that pairing so if she molts and hasn't laid an egg sac then we would partner them again sometimes you can put them together if her epigastric fold was not fertilized and they will breed again sometimes you can put them together and if they do not engage in mating behavior then she's not sending him the pheromones that she's fertile and you just basically won't see much happening. So I might reintroduce them again, but he's looking great at this point and I have high hopes for these two. So that's pretty exciting. I have quite a few Monocentrobus balfouri. Here are a couple of the ladies. I no longer have a male, which um, I'm so... Uh -huh. There's a mastiff just very stealthily crawling around under the table, knock, about to knock everything over. Uh, can you lay down, buddy boy? What a good boy. Ooh, okay. Um, yes, so Ronnie Holbert is sending me a mature male Monocetropus bufferoi. We've done a lot of breeding loans. Ronnie is amazing. Love him. He is the dad to all those crazy Nandu chromatis that I reproduced. And I have a little update on that too. So there's a couple of my Balfouri females that will soon be bred again. Next, I have a beautiful pair of Gramostola rosea. This is my female. This is a male that belongs to Jacob Guerrero. And um, they did breed. She looks big but not huge so i i don't know uh, if it was successful or not he still looks amazing 
and so I have high hopes that they will reproduce, if not this round, the next time. So fantastic. Yeah, that dude still looks like he has some good life to live, so I'm very optimistic about that pairing. Next order of business is Grandma Stola Porteroy. So these are females that both belong to Kelly Stevenson. This is her lovely female Bea, and you can see she's looking massive. This is her other female, Rose, and they have both been bred by this dude who's quite the stud right here. So he is, you might laugh because he looks really scrawny and small and he is, but he is at the end of his life. He is a mature male and this little boy actually belongs to Jacob Throneberry and man he has just been a winner all around so i think i mean we have just worked and worked this guy and i have to tell you that his retirement has been um a joyful one i'll say that and so that's pretty exciting uh that was sort of an unusual arrangement that came to be that i don't own any of the adults actually uh kelly stevenson actually basically wanted me to lend my expertise and there's no easier way to breed tarantulas than just do it yourself and I, but then I told her that I don't have a male and so she said well do you think you could find one and I had been working with um, Jacob Throneberry in the past and he was pretty excited by the results of my production and so the three of us agreed to do a three-way split if they do reproduce and so that's pretty exciting on that one here is a trio of grandma stola poker piece these girls are mine and so you can see this one here is very likely growing an egg sac she's nice and big she is not quite a, she's a good size but she's not huge so she could go either way this male was sent to me by tom kemp and you can see he's looking a little shabby at this point he's you know kind of leggy and a little thin but again he's at the end of his life and sometimes they just kind of start looking emaciated toward the end they're at the end of their life cycle it happens he actually looks really good for his age and so i am pretty excited i feel really good about the larger pulker piece and pretty good about the other one and he looks so good that we could even try another pairing if um i began to suspect that that smaller one wasn't going to reproduce so that's pretty exciting that i think that you know we're coming into egg sac season and i have Pretty, I feel pretty good about those uh, poker peeps. Lovely female, Nandu Kermatis. This is the Brazilian red and white giant. This is the poor little spindly legged male that belongs to Ronnie Holbert. And you can see that he looks like death warmed over. He is getting really close to the end. But the exciting news is that uh, that female just dropped an enormous egg sac for me the other night, which is really fantastic because if you guys ever um, saw my Nandu Chromatis egg sac video that already went viral about a year ago, I hatched out from one of Ronnie Holbert's males. I don't know if it was the same male or not. Uh, I don't recall. Um, that male that I paired with my female together they reproduced out of one egg sac 1560 Nandu Chromatis spiderlings it was bananas it was totally crazy and so when I saw that egg sac the other night and I mean it is giant I was so excited and so it's in the incubator I hope that it hatches. I mean, I'm totally down to do that again. It was so crazy. And what was nuts was I had a Balfourite egg sac hatching out on the same day that had 40 spiderlings. So I literally opened two egg sacs with 1600 babies that day. And so I'll link that crazy, crazy video and the updates where I'm actually separating out the spiderlings and all that in this description box. But yes, I'm definitely ready for round two of that. And I know Ronnie's excited too. So as I said, Ronnie is sending me a monocytropus balfourai male. 
So the highlight of this video is my breeding of Brachypalma smithi. The male for this pairing came from Mr. Cleveland Noise. Uh, I hope I'm saying his name right. This is my lovely female, and you can see she's getting pretty nice and fat. I did keep her in the enclosure because this was an old ammunition case that my dad turned into a tarantula enclosure for me, which I absolutely love, and so I like to showcase it whenever I can. I hope you guys loved seeing this tarantula breeding update video. It was very exciting. I am now looking for a uh, mature male green bottle blue chromatopelma sinopubescence and um, ceratogyrus darling eye, the horned baboon. And so I have girls, but no mature male. So if you have any of those and you live somewhere in the US, Go ahead and contact me at deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo.com or comment below this video or find me on social media. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, egg sack update. If you're still with me, thank you for sticking in. I know this was kind of long, but I mean, I had a lot of updates to show you. For those of you who are only in it for the spiders and have been seeing a lot of reptile stuff recently, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. You're still my main squeeze. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.